Hello and welcome to this tutorial about loading your new customized social media icons to your blogger blog. Uh, this is Natalie with Moxie Tonic and I just want to say thank you one more time for purchasing these from my Etsy store. So if you're probably here because you're not familiar with how to load images into your blogger sidebar. And there's just a couple of steps you need to go through in order to make this work. It's different than loading images into your um, main posts. So let's go ahead and um, get started doing this. You're going to come on your blogger dashboard to design. And you're going to add a new gadget. I like to use the one that is for text and it's just real generic and blank. Give it a title and then we are going to go ahead and switch to editing HTML. Now if you're not familiar with HTML, don't worry, there is a cheat sheet where you can just cut and paste the HTML code in and and then just also cut and paste the references in. So I'm going to bring that cheat sheet up right now. This is your main form for your code. I'm going to copy it right into here. A little bit of um, introduction to how this works. The caret and the A means that it's going to then reference a hyperlink. So right in here is where you would paste the URL for where you want this image to go to. And then IMG stands for image. The source, so the place where the image is being held, actually hosted on the internet. Um, would go right in here. You close that with a caret and then you close the link with the um, slash and the A in the caret. So really, really um, generic, basic HTML. And the more you work with it, the more the code starts to mean something instead of looking like a bunch of gobbledygook. Um, so the first thing we're going to go do is collect our image. With Blogger, you need to have it hosted on some sort of photo bucket. You can use Picasa, you can use Flickr. Um, I actually like to use photo buckets, and I'm going to go grab that right now. You can see I've already uploaded my images right here, and it gives me a couple of options. I'm going to just grab the direct link and copy and come back here to Blogger. And sticking my cursor in there, I'm going to paste in the code and I'm gonna close that up, make sure that the um, quotation marks right next to the last letter of your code. Next, I'm going to go grab the URL that I want the image to go to. Because this is Twitter, I can see this right here. I'm gonna come over to my little cheat sheet grab my Twitter URL, paste it in there, and I'm going to push save so that we can then go take a look at how this works. I'm going to go back to my dashboard so that we can view the blog live. And you can see I just added this right here, Twitter is now a link and it's going to take me to my Twitter homepage. I'm going to go back now to the dashboard and just move through these next couple steps fairly quickly. Remember we can edit the gadget. We want to go to edit HTML. There's our wonderful code. I'm going to add in two more so that you can really see how it works. Grab my code, stick it in. 
Next, I'm going to go back to Photo Bucket. I'm going to grab my Facebook link now. Remember, this is the source. And now I'm going to grab my URL for my Facebook page. And the way you get this is just from the browser button. Just bring up your Facebook page, cut and paste um, directly from the um, address where the URL is held for every single page. So there's Facebook. I'm going to repeat this one more time with the email icon and I want to show you just a little trick here. I am going to, well first let's go grab We'll grab the email icon and it's really light in this example. I've since increased the, um, the darkness of it so it can be seen a lot better. Oops, I missed my quotation mark. Okay, it's an email button. What I want this to do is open up um, a email account basically so that somebody could just click on the little email button and then email me directly. So the way I do that code is in the href I'm going to write mail to and then a um, colon and then the email address I want it to go to. So I'm just going to type in my generic moxie tonic address and I'll hit save there when we come to the home page you can see now I've got Twitter Facebook and oh so very lightly this is the email button and now if somebody clicks on this what's going to happen is if they've got their computer configured to bring up um, an email platform like Outlook or um, Apple's version of their webmail, it would actually pull up the template to write an email and that way I don't have my email address just out there waiting for um, every spider and spam bot to go and find and spam me like crazy with my email. So that is your tutorial on how to add the social media buttons to your blogger page. Have fun with it and of course if you ever have any questions feel free to email me and then I'll just mention one more time if you'd like to get updates on how you can really utilize email marketing in your um, blogging and how you can use email to build a list of really loyal um, followers and potentially customers if you are moving towards selling um, products on your website then be sure to sign up for my email newsletter and that is available on the site where you have linked to view this video good luck and best wishes to you thanks so much